Hey everybody, this is Robert again from sdparkflyers.com and welcome back to another episode of Airbrushing 101. Um, this will actually be the third video in the series. So what I'm going to do in this um, video series is I'm going to do some basic striping on a wing. Um, I went online and I found a pattern that I really like that a fellow modeler is using on his planes and it's really simple. It's only a two color pattern. It's going to be a red stripe and a black stripe. That'll be on the wing. The tail will have a red tip and a black stripe. And then the rudder, or excuse me, the elevator will be the same thing. It'll be a uh, red outer tip and then a black strip. What I'm going to do to kind of jazz it up a little bit is, even though I'm doing the red on the outside, I'm going to do like a black highlight on here to make it look like it's got a little shadow to it. I might even do a little shadow here on the black tips to make them look like they're kind of a 3D look too. So let's do this. Um, only colors that I'm going to be using to do this, as I said before, really simple. It's going to be a red and it's black. So I'm going to, going to go with two colors. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll do the wing in a demo because I, I think once you understand how I'm doing the wing, you'll kind of understand how you would lay out the rudder and you would real, um, lay out the elevator too. So. What I'm going to do is I have the pattern here. Um, I just took my wing, laid it over a sheet of paper here to get the scale right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out uh, two sheets of paper. One will be for the left wing and one will be for the right wing. So I made a master template here. I'll just t put two pieces of paper together and then I'll cut them both out. And then I'll come back on the video, and once I've cut the templates out, I'll lay it on the foam, and then I'll apply the red paint first. I always put on lighter colors first, and you want to put on the darker colors last, because if you're doing shadowing and things like that, it's harder to put lighter colors on top of darker colors. So even if you're airbrushing, try to put the lighter color on first. And in this situation, I'm going to be using red and black. So since black is like a shadow, it's not a color, I want to put it on last so I can use it as my shadow color to fill in some shadows and do what I want to do. So let's cut out all the... We'll just do the wings here fast. We'll cut out the patterns for the wings and then I'll lay them out there and then we'll come back and I'll show you uh, me painting the wing. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, so as you can see here, I've laid the template on the left side of the wing and the right side of the wing. Uh, the tip is going to be red, so I've left that open. And you can see on the drawing here, all I've done is I've cut the outside part off. I'm using the rest of the master drawing here as a template. And I actually recreated the same template on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with red and I'm going to basically just do the tip on this on the left side and I'm going to do the tip on the right side. Okay, I've mixed up some red paint here in my container. Uh, I'm going to turn on my compressor. I'm going to let it basically fill up the tank. You, had, you heard the compressor turn itself off so I know it's filled up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little red paint in my airbrush here. And then we'll start painting the wing here. I'm not, I don't know how much to use here, so we're going to just put in just enough. Put the cap on here. Put the cap back on the paint. What I'm going to do is uh, make sure I got good paint mixture here. I'm going to spray some paint on a blank piece of paper here to make sure it's working okay. To get some airbrush, to get some paint in the airbrush. Perfect, as you can see here, that's some red on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spray the paint on the wing. What you want to do is you want to just cover it with light coats and build up the paint. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now 
Now one of the cool things about a dual action airbrush that I'm using here, if I just press down the button on the airbrush, no paint will come out. It's just air. I can actually use that air to dry the paint a little bit. So between coats I can do that. Okay, so I'm putting on a putting on a quite a large area of paint here. So I look in my cup here because I started looking like I was running out of paint, and I am. So we're going to put a little bit more paint in here. When you're doing larger surfaces like that, it's, and the EPP is pretty absorbent, it actually absorbs quite a bit of paint. So that's why I tell people when you're doing this to put on a lot of light coats because you don't want to don't wanna add a lot of weight to your plane here. So put a little bit more paint in the container here. Continue on our merry way here. that's one side done and now what I'll do is I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and lay some black right on the edge here test it first to make sure it's working right Okay, so I, I put on the black on the red here just like I did when I originally did the canopy. So I'm just following the contour of the paper here. So I put a little, as I said, put a little black on the on the edge there of the paper. And I'm going to turn around and do the other side. So you can kind of see what I've done here. I've got the red outer tip and I actually painted a black straight line on there on both sides. And what I'll do next is I'll actually clean up my brush again and then I'll remove the tape to kind of show you the effect. So come back for that. Okay, so I've let the paint dry a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull off the mask here so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going for here. We don't want to throw those masks away because we're going to use them again as we fill in the next part. But as you can see here, what we've got here now is a red tip. We're just doing basic shadowing here. So I have red on the outside and I by darkening by darkening the inner edge, you'll notice it makes the red really pop out on the white foam here. So, next thing we're going to do is actually do the black stripes on the inside, and then I'm going to do the same procedure on the rudder and the elevators um, to give it the same look. So, using the same methods that I just showed you here, that's how we're going to do the next uh, part. We're going to do the black stripe on the center. We're going to just mask it off. Now, the black is easy because it's just going to be a black stripe on the inside so we're going to mask it off and do both those 
So this is video number three, some basic shadowing when you airbrush. I hope this helps you. Please post your comments down below. And thanks for watching.